Day two was off to a wonderful start. Dana's truck was up and running under its own power. The sun was out. It was time to get on the trail. This year we were lucky enough to have a variety of tradesmen along for the ride with us. It was Paul, Paul the plumber, who came to Jeff's rescue when Jeff sprung a leak in his radiator. I can always come back later. You got a dryer. I saw a dryer that's got comes in a case. You can weld it. That makes me feel Now Paul said he'd send him the bill and Jeff says, well, the check's in the mail and that's teamwork. You put a stick, beat it back with a hammer, flatten it, inside and outside, no. wash it with gas. Yeah. That's the drove on it forever. Yeah. Probably still on there. Yeah. <laughs> I heard that. So day two, did not turn out to be as rosy and sunny as I had hoped for. Every trail was under at least six inches of water if we were lucky. Uh, no, no, we know where it is now. No, you're not. Heather is. across this water cross and I remember distinctly we thought it was maybe it was looking kind of deep so we sent our friend Stickman Steve out there with his weird hip waders on to go see how deep the water really was. <laughs> and you know it wasn't that deep. It was one water hole where we thought we might have a little bit of fun and even as much as it had rained that day already, it was, um, it was Patrick who stepped up to the plate. And having most of us already crossed and Stickman Steve still being in the water waving everybody on, Patrick decided he was going to have a bit of fun with Steve. <laughs> Beaver fever in it. <laughs> Day two was turning out to be quite entertaining. We had wonderful sun in the morning, then the skies got a little darker, and the water got a little deeper. And the skies got darker and darker, and the water was deeper and deeper. Most of the trails were under a minimum of six inches of water. And if that wasn't bad enough, we would hit spots that crested four foot. Even the bigger trucks were challenged as they went down some of these roads.
with the hail coming down at a feverish rate, the group got together and decided they were going to camp for the night and maybe push on harder tomorrow if need be. Yeah, don't roll because we'll roll into a lake. Let <laughs> me get my 300 pound car out of this I was on this hill, this truck, two years ago, up there trying to get it as sideways as I could, but I'm not going to go. I can't see anything. I'm getting you. Is this hey, mate. <clears throat> We found probably the best campsite that I ever remember on any of our expeditions. That's right. It was a phenomenal campsite. It was based on um, some bedrock that, that acted like a, a sloping beach going right into this one lake. It was a, a, a splendid scenery. It was like Mother Nature had given up and joined us on this trip. The clouds rolled away and the sun came out and we really did have the most beautiful campsite in any expedition I've ever been on. Even as small as this area was, we managed to find enough room for, for all of the trucks, some actually on the bedrock itself, some behind in the woods, and there's this terrace about 20, maybe 30 feet higher than the lake where a couple of trucks managed to perch as well. So here we are at the campsite, the sun's out, it's gorgeous, and Dana decides he's gonna go for a swim. That water had to be barely 40 if it was 40. I was surprised to see the guy in there. I heard the splash and I was making soup and I turned around and there he was. I thought the guy had gone skinny dipping at first. And when you look closely, he's no, he's, he's actually got a pair of pants on. And we were thankful for those pants. <laughs> oh, we were too. <laughs> Get him. Get him. Hey, be careful those Canadian needlefish. <laughs> What's that? The Canadian needlefish. It spins right up your willy. And even as early as it was that day, we just took the time to, uh, to kind of gather ourselves, relax a little bit. Again, we uh, made a fire and we got the food going and some good fun and drink. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.